Hey there everybody, it's Jessica and Peanut, she's somewhere around here. We're here today to do a little walking and strength training and stretching with you today. So we're gonna do a little cardio, a little strength, a little flexibility at the end, hopefully just to refresh, revive your routine a little bit, maybe put a little extra spring into your step today. Sound good? Okay, so let's walk nice and strong here, pumping those arms. Let's take this into a little heel dig, pulling the arms back, really flex your toes, waking up those shins. Give me four more. Three, last two. Take it back to your walk, nice and strong. Go check your posture, make sure your shoulders are back, your chest is open and lifted. Nice, using a little bit more of our upper body, just take your arms out in line with your shoulders, reaching up, bending, and pulling down through your back here. Good. Just give me four more. Lift, squeeze. Two more. Good, now let's take a side to side. Step tap. Good. All we're gonna do is take a single arm, bent elbow, chest fly. Looks like this. Pulling it out and in. So I'm moving that arm in opposition to that tapping toe. Did we get your brain waking up a little bit? Good, pull it in, squeeze, good. Last four, three, give me two, and one, walk and hold it again. Take your feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna sit back into those hips, taking a little squat, Remember, we're just warming up, so it doesn't have to be too low. Pulse it down for me for three, two, one, and lift. Do it again. Down, two, three, lift. One more like this. And we're gonna add a little balance challenge at the top. Take it down, lift this knee, stand. Pulse, lifting this knee, hold. Good, again. Two, three, lift. Down, two, three, lift, you got it. Down, two, three, give me one more at this tempo. Then we're gonna do one squat and one alternating knee lift. Take it down, up, down, up. Good, give me four, three, two, one more. Let's walk and hold it, good. Taking it into our side to side motion again. Let's start this way first. Just let those arms sweep. Good. Make it a little bigger, give me a little cross behind. Nice, just let everything flow. Nice deep breaths, it's four, three, two, and one. Now keep your feet out wide, a little lunge. Sit back into your hips. You got it, let's hold it to the side. Hold, switch legs, hold. Nice, take it back to that side to side. Adding a little stretch, taking the arm up and over like this. Open up through your side. Now just reach your arm across, good. And then we're gonna take it down and across to your opposite foot like this. You got it. One set up to the sky, one across your chest, down to your feet, hold, do it again, up to the sky. Cross your chest, down to your feet, hold it center, one more time to the sky. Cross the chest, down to your feet, Hold it center, let's take that stretch one more time. Just hold, other leg, hold. Come back to the center, bend both knees. Roll up nice and slow, let's walk it in. Good, just shake out the legs, give me a little kick. Reaching your opposite arm, there's Peanut. She's in and out, she's got stuff to do today. So, we're gonna be working with weights. I'm using tens and fives. I want you to use whatever works for you. Remember, we want to challenge ourselves, but be able to keep great form through all of the reps. 
So feel free to lighten up, get rid of your weights at any time. Just do what you need to do to make it successful. So let's get started here with our lighter set of dumbbells first. I want you to carefully walk on over, pick up those weights, even though they're light, use your legs, mind your spine. Let's take that side to side here. So we're gonna keep the legs moving and we're gonna move on to the upper half. So I want you to just take your right arm to shoulder level, yes? Good, now steady your feet, tap the toe out in, little coordination. Now as the leg taps in, we're gonna press this arm overhead like this. So it's out in, keep your shoulders and hips square. I have a bent knee on my standing leg. Good. Stand nice and tall. Good, we got eight more right here. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. Just the toe. Get the other arm ready. You know what to do. As the toe taps in, we press up. Keep everything else nice and steady and strong. Good. Nice little coordination for you. Abs are tight. Looking good, guys. Last eight. Six. Four. Two more. Nice, now just give me a side to side step tap. So we're gonna take both arms now, keep that side to side. You're gonna press up for two and lower down for two. Still working those shoulders just like this. It's up, two, pull down, two, take it up. Two, pull down, two, deep breaths. Good, so don't let the lower body affect that upper half. Your abs are in tight, supporting your back. Good, push up, pull down, looking strong, lift, good. So if right about now, your shoulders are really talking to you, you're at the right weight. Give me four more, up and down, last three. Good, give me two more. Aha, uh -huh. last one. Nice job, just walk it out. Take those weights to your head. So good, guys. Okay, I'm gonna just angle a little bit. I want you to take your feet hip distance apart. Sit back into a little squat pulse. Now we're gonna take that one arm at a time and again. Taking this front arm, I'm gonna open and close to a single arm rear fly. See if you can hold that little squat pulse. Keep the spine neutral, chin connects to our chest so we're not stressing the neck here. Good. Give me eight more. It's eight. Six. Four. Two more. Last one. Just pulse it, stand back up, walk it out. Getting ready for the other side, just a little breather. Sitting back into your hips, feet hip width apart. Pulse your squat. Getting ready for that other side. Now remember, just like we did on those single arm shoulder presses, keep your shoulders and hips square. Other arm, open and close. Keep the back of that neck long. Sit back in your hips. Don't let your back round. Good. Last eight. Six. Four. Two more, come on. Last one. Take it in, walk it up. Final set. Both arms, oh boy, oh boy. Getting ready, sit back into your squat, get both arms ready. Let's just do this, open and close. If you need to alternate your arms, you absolutely can. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and together. Shape of the arms, don't change here. 
We just open and close using that upper back. Good. Hang on strong here. Four more. Two last one. Hands on the thighs. Stand it up. Woo! Shake out those legs for me. I feel the thighs, I know. Okay, great job, guys. Let's move on. Chest and shoulders are next. So I want you to just start with a little forward and back step tap. So my right foot is forward. So I'm gonna use my left arm to push forward and pull back. Now as I push forward, I'm gonna rotate my palm down. Looks like this. Push, pull. Now watch, we're not doing this. Don't throw it away. Press, control with the chest and the front of the shoulder. So see that rotation happening. Palm faces down, you pull it back. Good. Stay with me for four, three, two, one. Let's walk and hold it. Great job. Setting that up on the other side. We're just gonna start off, steady your feet. This leg goes first, forward and back. Good, so now we get the right arm ready. Ready, push it forward, pull it back. Palm facing the floor. As that arm extends, now I'm sinking down a little bit into my legs, getting grounded, giving my core a strong base to work with. So we stabilize that spine. Keep great posture. Don't lock out your elbow. Good, out, pull back. You got it. Four more here, it's four, three, two, one. Let's walk and hold, good. Both arms coming at you. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna alternate with a knee lift. Abs in, again, get grounded in your legs. Two, two count, arms press out. Two, pull back for two. Push out in front of the chest. Good, still got that rotation. Still not locking out those elbows. Push, pull back, that's it. Press it forward. Pull it back, looking so strong. Press it forward. Pull it back, good, don't lose your balance. Don't lose your good posture. Shoulders are stacked over those hips. If you're getting tired, you're where you need to be. Four more. Pull back. Three. Squeeze, come on, two more, two more. Last one. Looking so strong, guys, good. Walk and hold, nice. Okay, a little breather. Let's go into those arms next. So we're gonna move into a little cross behind, bending the elbows in, tap it back. So I'm hinged slightly forward from my hips. Just that little skater tap, but with a pause, right? Side to side, squeeze your elbows in. Now I want you to hold it here, sink a little deeper, kick back. So I'm gonna squeeze here. Now you can hold here or dip down a little deeper if you want a little more. Squeeze it out. So we're not swinging the weights, we're extending back from the elbow. Watch that knee, stays behind our big toes. Four more. Three, two, side to side step tap. Keep holding those elbows back. So you're using your back just to keep your arms in position, right? Elbows hugging towards your sides. Side to side. Take it over, let's hold it. Kick back right here, or with your little dip. Squeeze the backs of those arms. Use those triceps. So aim your knuckles as your arms extend to the wall that's behind you here. Press back. Final four. Two more. 
Nice job, guys. Hold it out. Front of the arms are coming up next. So we're gonna take the legs out. Little kick, little shake. Good. Balancing on your right leg. Take your left toe out, sink down. Bicep curl here or here. Woo, little balance challenge, good. So if you need it, you tap the floor, okay? Keep your elbows in by your sides. Get grounded in that standing leg. Abs in tight, check your posture. Are you breathing on top of everything else? I hope so. Keep going. Four more. Two more. Step, kick, shake it out. Take a second. Good. Get ready for that other side. Coming up in four, three. Get steady on this leg, tap the toe, or balance, let's go. Up. Good. So remember, each side is different. If you need a tap on this side, you go for it. Find your center, find your focus with your eyes. That's gonna help you with your balance too. Good, make sure you're not strangling the neck of your weights though, right? Put the tension in the biceps, not in your grip. Squeeze. Final four, we're here. Four, three, last two. Amazing, good. Now we're gonna trade out these two lighter dumbbells for one single heavy weight. So let's keep moving, just hold it right now, like a baseball bat for me. Abs are tight, I want you to keep it at your core where you can handle that weight a little bit safer than swinging it. So we don't wanna walk with weights because that can add a lot of joint strain. So if you like to add a little extra weight to your walk, make sure you add it at your core, such as with a weighted vest. So I want you to just walk in place here, just hold. Take it like you're holding a little goblet. We're gonna do a goblet press, up and down. So I've got a softness in my knee. The weight is in front, using the chest. If you want it a little more, sit back. Now, don't go straight down and up. We still need the hips to go back and forth. And I need you to tuck your chin to your chest a little so you don't stress the neck. You don't have to add that lower half. You can stay with just the arms. Good. Four more. Three. Now listen, let's get into your legs. Step your right foot out, pulse. Four. Three. Two. Bring your feet back in. Let's press down and up for four. Three. Two. One, take it down, hold, pulse, four, three, good. Just a step in and out, come in, come out. Stay as low as you can go. Sit back in those hips, oh boy. Smile if you're feeling that lower half. Good, we have four more alternating, it's four, three, two, one, hold, stand it up, walk it out. Take that dumbbell in your left arm. Just give me a little hamstring curl. So you're just holding it like you would a suitcase here. A little core challenge to keep your body upright with weight in one side of on the body. Woo, okay. Legs and back, combo move, coming up. So I want you to take a little lunge stance doesn't have to be wide. Your right leg is going to be in front because your left arm has that dumbbell. So you're going to come down and lunge. Come down, row back. Now you decide how deep that lunge is going to be for you. Put your weight in your front heel. Keep your spine neutral. Rowing with the back here. Biceps assist, but the back does most of the moving here. Give me four, three, two, one, pulse and hold. Little extra legs, why not? Good. Last eight right here, it's eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, stand tall. Grab the weight with both hands. Arms up, let's bend and extend for those triceps again. Now you can hang here or give me a little side to side or a little balance. Your call. Peanut, hey, come on back, help me out here. Let's work it. She's over it, she's ready for a walk. After this peanut, I promise. Give me two more, guys. Last one. Take it back to your walk. Right hand keeps the weight. Hamstring curls. We gotta set it up on the other side. Just a little breather. Use your core here, stabilize the back. Looking good. Just getting ready to set up that lunge. Ready, down and up. Pull. Focus on the back. So remember, you make that lunge go as low as you wanna go. Get ready. Just your lunge pulse, extend that arm. Pulse it. Keep your weight in that front heel. Get ready to step your feet together. Grab that dumbbell with both arms. Triceps, toe taps, or you can go for that balance. Up to you. Good, keep breathing. Couple more. Nice job, last three, two, one more on both sides. Woo, let's walk it hold. So good everybody, okay. So, we did an extra tricep. Let's do an extra bicep here too. So we're gonna take it, feet hip width apart. I want you to sit back into your squat, reach down in front, curl up, switch hands. Reach down in front, bicep curl on the way up, switch hands at the top. So it's like you're picking that weight up off the floor, low and controlled squat, Curl up, switch your grip. Turn the palm in, turn the palm up, switch. Good. Down and lift. Sit back and lift. You got it. Sit back. We're gonna do four more alternating here. Four, squeeze. Three, squeeze. Give me two more. Good, one more time. Down and up, you got it. Side to side toe taps. Grab both ends of that weight. So we're gonna push out with that chest and the shoulders. Push out, pull in towards your belly button. Out for two, pull back for two. Press, good. In. So all of this is moving together, right? Our cardio and our strength mash up into one. Push, we're keeping your heart rate up the whole time. No stopping. Good. Push it forward. Pull it back. Four. And and just give me three more. You got two more right here. Last time, forward and back. Nice, now I do want you to take a little breather just from the weight. So go ahead and set that single heavy weight on the floor, carefully. Come on back, give me that little skater tap. Take the arms out and across. We're gonna come back to that weight in just one second, but I want you to focus on driving your elbows back. Skater tap nice and wide. You can stay here or leap it out a little bit. Good, little heart rate raiser, as if it wasn't up enough already. Good. 
Four more. Three, two, walk and hold it. Stepping, alternating front knee, changing legs each time. It looks like this. So you're gonna step forward, lift, step back and change. Opposite arm reaches up, good. Big energy here, if you wanna add a little more, you can give me a calf raise or even a little hop up. It's kinda of like a little basketball dunk at the top. You make it work for you, right? Good. If you are hopping, keep it light and soft. Four more. Three, two, and one. Walk and hold it. Good, pump those arms. Now, you can stay right here with that power walk, traveling forward, traveling back, or a little jog with a high kick to the back with your heels. Good, forward, and back. Two more sets. One more set. Walk and hold. Let's go get both of those heavy dumbbells. Take a breath, use your legs, grab both of those weights, come on back. So we're gonna go back to your back. We're gonna take the feet hip distance apart, we have a deadlift and bent over row combo. Palms are in, steady your feet, down. Turn your palms forward and row. Reach in, come up with a flat back. Let's do it again slowly. Hinge at the hips. Don't round your back here. Single tempo looks like this. One, two, three, four. So the key to this one, especially those of you that really feel your low back, when you do this kind of work, is your spinal alignment. So we're straining the back if we lean forward and round the spine. So it's really key that you keep that neutral spine alignment. It's almost gonna feel like you're sticking out your tush when you hinge forward from your hips. Good, pull with the back. You got four more. That's it. Three, two more. One more. Great job, walk and hold it. Good. Side to side, step tap. So we're gonna move back into the front of the body, back into that chest and the shoulders. I want you to take an underarm scoop, bend the elbow, scoop forward, pull back. Now I'm just gonna tap my standing leg because this is heavy. Four. Three, two, give me one more. Step wide to the side, switch arms, switch legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, give me two more. Now listen, let's take a nice wide stance with your feet. Turn both arms up. Give me eight with both arms at the same time. Eight, seven, don't throw it away. Six, five, keep breathing. Four, three, I know. Two, one more. <sighs> Amazing, side to side. Hold those weights by your sides. So good, everybody. Stay with me. We gotta finish up those legs a little bit. One more for the shoulders, and then we're out of here. Or you can keep going if you want, but we'll be done with this after that. <laughs> Take it back, squat position. Shift your weight into your right thigh. Weight stays to the outside of your left leg. You're gonna tap out and in. Now, you can tap on the floor or give me a little balance. Yes, good. We're gonna do eight more on this side, ready? Last eight, seven, six, five, stay with me, four, three, Two, let's do the legs and the shoulders. Take it down, squat, press overhead. Down, press up. More challenge, you get rid of the leg on the floor. Sit back, press it up. Don't worry about your tempo, make it work for you. Good, 
So it's a squat, curl, and press. Single leg squat, single arm, press. So we work the core. We've been working the core the whole time. Notice I'm tapping the toe. Sometimes you need to. We have two more. Last one. Woo. Squat, sit, shift, tap your toe in and out. Now, if you're ready, try the bounce. Hey, Pina. I love how she waltzes in at the end of the workout. Like she's been here the whole time. Oh, now she's tired. She's been working so hard. Here we go. That's eight. Six. Four more. Come on, last two, then we got the squat, curl, and press. Then we're done. Here we go. Squat, curl, and press. With or without that toe tapped. Focus your eyes on the floor. Help with your balance. Woo. Deep breaths. So good, guys. Almost done. Come on, final five. You thought I was gonna say four, didn't you? Ha, there's four. Three. Two more, come on. Last one. Woo, take a second. Carefully set those weights down. Come on up. Toe taps, ha, we did it. So let's just start. Bringing it down a little bit. Good. Hamstring curls. Squeeze that heel in. Stretch the front of the thighs. Press your pelvis forward so you also get up into those hip flexors. Nice. Step over. Tap the toe, hold on to something if you need to, or cross over the top of your thigh. Sit back in your hip. So you can keep your foot on the floor, or you can keep it here. You can hold on, or you can reach. So many options, you make it work for you. Feet wide, round up, other side. Cross over here or up here. Sit back and hold, deep breaths. Good. Feet wide, hands on the thighs, roll up. Open up your chest, just reach your arms back behind you, lift your heart, reach forward, round your back. Take it over to one side. Other side. Good. For the wrists and the forearms, palms are together. Take it over to one side. Other side. Good, just one more here. Heel in front, weight in your back leg. Pitch forward, stretch. Switch legs, step it out, heel in front. Weight on the back thigh, not on the kneecap, just on the thigh. Good, easy, gentle side to side. Thank you guys so much for moving with Peanut and I. Well, sort of the Peanut today. We hope you got a little sweat going, got you inspired to move. Remember, if you want to continue on, you can use any of our other workout videos here on our channel or join us for one of our programs at home. Thank you so much for spending your time and energy with us. We look forward to moving with you again real soon. Take care, everybody.